Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and if you are new here, please do subscribe down below. I love my following growing, it's fantastic. Um, today I'm doing a swimwear unboxing and try on haul. Now it is December in the UK, so I'm braving the cold here. The heating is on so I should be okay, but it's not really swimwear weather, but I thought it could be a great idea for Christmas gifts. Also, we're going off to Asia tomorrow actually I was going to say in two days it's actually tomorrow we're going off to Asia we're going off to Vietnam and then Thailand and Cambodia and we haven't really planned it but we'll be off traveling so I wanted to get my hands on a buyer swimsuit so I found this company on Instagram quite a while ago and I've been following them for a while and absolutely love the designs and I love the kind of ethics behind it and the sustainability aspect but also using curvy women so I've just pulled up their website on my phone and I just wanted to read out a little bit just so that you have some sort of background so Bayer was founded by a woman called Amber who grew up in Australia. She studied fashion design and then travelled the world. After travelling the world she went on to do corporate social responsibility writing in the fashion industry where she was kind of learning about I guess the sustainability and things like that within the fashion world. From there she decided to create her own swimwear brand and then three years later Bayer has won awards for innovation and sustainable design. It's got press coverage in Australian magazines and blogs and it's dressed women from all around the world. Now the word buyer means one who has the capacity to change the world for the better which I absolutely love. I think that is beautiful. And it's just a really lovely brand. They have so many different designs. Um, the fabrics are made out of recycled waste. So it says it's made from things such as fishing nets, carpets, plastic bottles and textiles that would otherwise pollute our beautiful land and oceans. So it's fabrics and materials that are thrown away and put into landfill. There's a company that collects them all up and makes fabric out of them and these swimsuits are made out of that fabric so it's recycled trash I guess which is cleaning up the planet which is fantastic. The products are made in China which might cause a little bit of controversy. They have a little bit on the website just saying that there's a company they work with who are trying to change things and be better and they found that this company was best fit to make their swimsuits. That's okay. Um, but yeah, the whole thing is that it's sustainable fabrics, it's beautiful designs and we're celebrating women and our curves because oftentimes, I feel especially as I'm older, like I'm 34 now, I don't always want to have like a skimpy little tiny bikini, like that's great for sunbathing but not always great for, for example, a boat party or a walk along the beach or I don't know, like going off exploring, you don't always want like a tiny little bikini on. So anyway, I reached out to Bayer and asked them if they would like to send me a couple of swimsuits. They said yes, I was over the moon. They are absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy to be an owner of these two swimsuits. So they are rather expensive. I will start off by saying that. Um, they're Australian, so the so what I ordered basically was two four-piece swimsuits. They come as two tops, a bottom and a tie that you can use to tie in lots of different ways. So just for reference, I'm going to pop prices on screen as well. I'm probably here in Australian dollars, euros and pounds and then obviously Australian money as well. Australian dollars, I guess. Um, but the wrap top is 129 Australian... Oh, 129 US dollars it says on here. And the bottoms is 99 US dollars. So it's $230 for a swimsuit, which I know is quite pricey, but I think the fact that, you know, it is sustainable, it is looking after the oceans, it is beautiful. And it's one of those things where I don't buy swimsuits often. I'm not like an influencer who's constantly buying, 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 buying. Um, I kind of have something and I'll wear it for a couple of years. So I thought this could be absolutely perfect for my travels and also because they're reversible and they're super versatile. So enough talking, I'm just going to get into it because I don't want to bore you guys. I've already opened these just because I wanted to check the size. Um, but they did come in these bags, which I believe, yep, yeah, these are compostable bags. So again, they're trying to do their best here in terms of um, packaging. So the two that I got, the first one is the Tulum, which is this one. This, this one is the one I see mostly on Instagram and I fell in love with. I think it is so beautiful because it's patterned, but it's not like in your face, super bright and colourful patterned. So it's that coloured on one side and then on the other side it is black. So this is the fantastic thing about this brand is that you can swap things around and mix and match a little bit so that you have lots of different swimsuits in one. So if I turn that back around to the 
this size. This is the Tulum. I ordered a Australian size 10. Those slowly hand maze using a selection of recycled synthetic and natural fibres. Designed in Australia, loved worldwide. I just think it's so cute. Anyway, that's the bottoms. So they are really high rise to suck in your tummy. Um, and then it comes with a tie. So I'll show you how we use this later on. And then it comes with two top pieces. So this is like a triangle that goes over one side. And then you have a triangle, again, that goes over the other side, like so. Um, this is hard to do holding up, but I will try these on. But the good thing about this is that you could have one size, one side, sorry, that is black, like so. And then you could have this side that is patterned. So that's kind of one design there with the patterned bottoms. You could then change that to have the black bottoms, like so. So you have the black on the bottom and one of each on this side. You could have, you know, the patterned tops but then the black bottoms. You could have the black tops but the patterned bottoms. So basically you can mix and match as much as you want. So I'm going to show you the other one and then I'll do a video showing you them both on as well so that you can kind of see me actually trying them on and showing you different ways to wear them. I also got to say that the fabric is really thick and durable and lovely. I think it's going to be really hard wearing. So this one is the Tulum and this one is the Bahamas which is the second one that I picked out. Again size 10, Australian size 10. On this one it says recycled yarn, um, sun cream and oil resistant, peeling resistant, excellent coverage, muscle control, um, eco-friendly fabrics. So that's just a little bit about the kind of fabric there. But this is the print of the Bahamas. I chose this one because these are my sort of colours. Anything with that kind of orangey brown tone I absolutely love. I love the greens and the pinks. Again it's not too much though, it's not too bright and too in your face. So I love this. And then on the other side it is white, like so. Obviously that's just a like a hygiene thing. And then again we've got the two triangle tops, so that's one side. And then that's the other side, which I actually thought this could be really nice to wear with jeans or with shorts, something like that, so wear it as an actual top. And then same with this one, I could see myself wearing that as an actual top, like with jeans and going out for dinner or something. I think that could be actually quite a nice top rather than sw like swimwear. You wouldn't really know it was swimwear, I don't think. Anyway, the white one came with a white tie. And then I have a black tie, which must have been with the Tulum, the first one. So yeah, that's the two swimsuits. I'm going to hold up um, the bottoms of each so you can kind of see them side by side. And then I'll go ahead and try them on so you can see what they look like on but these are such good quality and so beautiful so that's the Tulum I'll try and hang it there and this is the Bahamas that I'll try and hang it here and the reason I went for these ones as well is that one of them is black on the other side and the other one is white on the other side so I could even swap these two together so I have like black bottoms with a white top or white bottoms with a black top I can mix and match these together which I think is lovely but these are the two patterns that I went for Okay, let's try these on and then I'll talk to you afterwards. Okay, so this is the Tulum bikini with the pattern, first of all. So you can see the back. Now it was very, very tight getting it on. I had to like squeeze it over my hips. But it came up and it fits really well actually up here as well. Because I do have quite big hips and quite boobs but then quite a small waist. But actually that fits really, really well. And then in terms of the top... So we have two pieces here, so that's the bottom one and then the top one. So it is quite flattering, it is it does actually hold my boobs in, which I was kind of worried about, like even bending over now, they're not coming out, which is brilliant. I did kind of think that might be an issue, but actually this fits really, really well. So that's from the back, so you can see, but it fits lovely. So then now we have these ties. So for the Tulum you get a patterned one and a black one. So I'm going to show you with the patterned one to start off with. You can tie this in lots of different ways. So the first one I'm going to do is in the middle. And what this does is kind of accentuate the fact that it is a top and bottom. So you can kind of pull that up a little bit so it's a little bit more under your boobs. And then you can tie that around the back if you want to. Like so. So you have kind of the gap here which I think is really cute. The other thing you can do is even just to tie it at the front there, so you have a nice big bow at the front, 
that could also be something you want to play about with. So that's that option. If I now pull that down, the other option is to tie it just on the top one at the side. And this is just kind of make it look like it's a wrap or something like that. So I'm just going to put a tiny little bow in there and then keep this bit a bit longer, which I think is really cute under the boob there. I don't know if you can see that so much. Let me try that again with the black, just to show you a little bit more contrast. There we go. So if we do a tiny little bow here, there we go. You can see that a bit more there. So you can either have it all the way to the side or I actually quite like it under the boob a little bit. Um, so that's the option as well there. There's loads of different ways you can tie these. So again, if I do this middle one again, just so you can see with the black, which I think might make, you might just be able to see it a little bit clearer. So again, you can tuck that under. You could also fold that over if you wanted to, so that it's not as high. But again, you can tie that around the back there. So you can see how that kind of adds that nice little black trim. So you kind of change the bikini there. The other options you can do, I've seen online one of the other options that people do, which I don't think is something I'm particularly going to do, I don't think it's really for me, but it's to tie it somewhere at the front here. I don't know, that doesn't feel right to me. The other option is to tie it around the back as well in a similar way, so let me just try that. Right, I've just quickly put my hair up so I can try and show you this way that they do it. I don't know if I'd be able to do it by myself or if I have to get my husband Jeremy to help. But if you put it there, and then tie it up, and you could put, you know, a bow in there or something. I don't know if you can even see that, but that makes it a little bit more halter neck around the top here, which is quite nice. It kind of pushes my boobs up <laughs> a little bit more, but that could be an option. The other way is obviously just to tie it around the waist, otherwise that could be cute. Just to add a little bit of... Um, dimension there in the waist and you can kind of either scrunch it up or you could even try and make that a little bit thicker all the way around as well um so there's lots of different things you can do with the tie they leave information as well on the website i'm sure or on the instagram i'm sure you'll be able to find inspo of what you can do so what i'm going to do now is change up the tops to show you the different ways that you can wear this bikini okay so excuse the dog barking outside but what i did here was swap over this top piece here so that we have one black and then one patterned and the bottom is patterned. So you can see how that has just instantly changed the swimsuit into something a little bit different. Now what I'm going to do is change out the other top into black as well. So I'll have a black top and then patterned bottoms. So let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, so now we have the black top with the patterned bottoms. Again, it looks like a completely different swimsuit and then again you can add some of the ties, so you can either tie around one around your waist or you can tie this one maybe around the front here. You know, you can kind of do lots of different things now that you've got these pieces. You can wear them in lots of different ways, which I think is what drew me to the brand because with one swimsuit, you've got lots of different options. And as I'm backpacking at the moment, any I kind of need all my outfits to do lots of different things. So rather than having one swimsuit that does one swimsuit, I want one swimsuit that does about eight. <laughs> so that's the great thing about this brand is that they kind of, yeah, you got lots of different options. So now what I'm going to do is change out the bottoms. Okay, so then now I have an all black swimsuit because I swapped out the bottoms and the top. And then obviously now you can go ahead and have one pattern top or two pattern tops with the black bottoms. So you can mix and match a little bit. I'll show you that as well just so you can get an idea of what I mean. But now it basically just looks like any normal swimsuit, which I really, really like. Okay, so now we've got the black bottoms with the black top and the pattern top. Again, it kind of looks like an entirely different swimsuit, I think, anyway. And again, you can play about with the um, ties and things. But that's how that looks, which I think is lovely. I'm now going to swap out this top and show you <laughs> the, t um, the two pattern tops with the black bottoms. Okay, so this is the pattern top with the black bottom. So as you can see there, I showed you one, two, three, four, five, six different ways that you can use this, I think. Yeah, six different ways that you can wear this. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but for me it seems like six. But this is actually probably my favourite, is having the black bottoms and the pattern top. I think that looks really, really cute. 
Okay, so I'm now going to show you the Bahamas swimsuit, but what I'm going to do is put on the Bahamas top with these bottoms. You can see the black and the white mixed together to see how that looks. Okay, so this is the Tulum bottoms in black with the Bahamas top in white. And now obviously, I don't know if I'm going to show you, but obviously you could switch this around as well and have the Bahamas bottom in white with the Tulum top in black and kind of mix and match that way. So this is the great thing about getting two different um, styles is that you can mix and match them together and get even more options. So this is probably one of my favourites as well. I really like the way that this one looks. Okay, now I'm going to put on the Bahamas bottoms in white and show you how these this bikini looks as well. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. Anyway, this is the white ones on with the white top. Again, you could do with the black top so that you have um, the black and white kind of combo there. Let's show you the top. So I'm going to switch over one side so you can see the pattern and then I'll do the other side and I'll do the bottoms and we'll do that whole thing with this bikini so you can see all the different options available. Okay, so again, this is the Bahamas. This is the Bahamas white bottoms with the white top and then with the pattern top. So you can see how that adds a nice little splash of colour, a nice bit of detail. So that's how that one looks, which is lovely. I'm now going to swap out this top. Okay, I'm legit sweating now. It's December in England and I'm sweating putting these on. But that's the Bahamas top in the pattern with the Bahamas white bottoms. And I don't think I've showed you this tie with this one. So again, you could do the kind of the tie in the middle. Let's do that. I like that one. So you could do that one and then either tie it there or you could tie it around the back, something like that which I think is really cute. The other option of course is to tie it around just this top one and kind of under the boob which I think looks nice. I think that's really cute. So yeah I like that one as well. So what I'm going to do now is try and swap these over to the colour ones if I can take them off and then if I can put them back on again. Oh, Okay let's try that. Okay I've got the bottoms on. It actually felt easier that time. I think I must have stretched them the first time. Um, they're definitely still probably too tight but I did get them on <laughs> so I'm going to keep them and um, either they'll have to stretch or I'll have to lose weight or they'll just have to be tight either way anyway this is the Bahamas bottoms with the Bahamas two pattern tops which again I love this one like I love all the different options I love that you can kind of have a little bit of pattern a little bit of kind of block colour or a lot of block colour or a lot of pattern and you can kind of mix and match and I think that's really great when you're backpacking or traveling or going on vacation or whatever it is to kind of have lots of different options. So I could wear this swimsuit so many different ways and feel like I'm wearing a new swimsuit every time, which I love that kind of concept and just getting more for your money, I guess. So now what I'm going to do, <laughs> we're going to do the white tops with the pattern bottoms and then I might even show you this top with some shorts, for example, to see how that might look as kind of a top option. So let's do the tops in white and then I'll be back. Okay, so I swapped over the top, <laughs> this side. So we've got the white top, the pattern top, and the pattern bottoms. And I'm gonna swap this one over to be a white as well. This is an absolute workout. <sighs> I'm sure I'm gonna pull a muscle doing all this. But anyway, this is the Bahamas bottoms with the pattern, and then the two Bahamas tops in white. Um, so again, that's just another swimsuit. But that was a lot of different options. The last thing I want to do is try on this top just for kind of the length with either jeans or shorts or maybe both. Um, so we'll see what that looks like. But yeah, absolutely love these. Okay, so these are my denim shorts that I'm taking traveling with me. And then this is the Bahamas top in white. So obviously you could have either the patterned colors or you could have, you know, one of each pattern. But I think that looks really cute. I could definitely see myself wearing this to the beach or like, day trips and things like that because I don't need a bra with this like I'm you know I'm pretty supported pretty comfortable so I wouldn't need any sort of bra underneath um but it's nice and supportive and yeah I really like that I think that's cute and I could imagine the same I think also with the um like the pattern version of this but also with the black one I think that would look really cool as well having you know this pattern side this pattern on with shorts as well I think that would look really cool okay so I have tried on everything and I just wanted to close off the video overall absolutely love them I did find that these 
bottoms were a lot smaller than the brown ones and taking them on and off I could hear like <laughs> like fabric ripping the seams seem to be okay there's no loose threads or anything so I don't really understand what that noise was because you know the seams haven't ripped but they definitely were tight and they definitely say a size 10 and the other ones say a size 10 as well so I'm not sure why these are so different in size to the other ones but I'm just gonna have to either just get used to it or stretch them out or something I don't know we'll see but I absolutely love the patterns I think these are just so so pretty um, like this one's pretty and then this one is more like a cool girl vibe I think that is so cool like if you had that and that with some denim shorts like I think that's such a look so yeah I absolutely love them I think the quality is amazing and like I said they are these ones are too small but the fabric has not ripped the seams have not ripped like they're really good good quality um, items which I think are gonna last me a while now obviously I'm out of breath <laughs> and I found it quite exhausting because I was swapping the tops and the bottoms all the time and kind of switching things out but I think, you know, for like normal use, when you like go to your closet and put on one swimsuit, you kind of have lots of different options, which I love, but you're not going to get out of breath and get frustrated and like pull a muscle like I almost did <laughs> from trying them on lots of different times. Um, but yeah, I love them. I think they're brilliant. So I will obviously leave the links down below if you want to go ahead and buy any for yourself. Please do let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video, if you are new to buy it, if you've heard of them before, if this was useful to see me actually try them on in lots of different ways. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this video, I hope you did too, and I'll be wearing this, hopefully, well, all of these different items, on our travels, which if you want to subscribe, you can follow along on our journey, we're going to Vietnam, and then probably Cambodia, and Thailand, and then Australia, and then we don't know, so you'll be able to see me actually wearing these in action in all these different places, if you want to follow me on my YouTube channel as well, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon, bye!